hey what's going on I'm gonna keep coming at you because so much is going on let me check the date here is the 20th which is Thursday 20th of February is um, significant personally for a lot of reasons primarily it was my grandmother's birthday rest in peace she's been gone a long, gone a long time but my dad's mom and uh, she was pretty cool big music lover knew a lot of jazz musicians a um, whole lot of history there but I want to um, I want to use this video mainly to uh, tell you that I have a new release out uh, digitally a new album um, you know I've been sharing music with you in videos recently and um, I finished up some of it and not everything that I played for you before is on this this new release which I've called 02020 which is basically 2020 and, uh, I hope this will be bright enough but here's the cover 2020 I'd love to get this out on um, on vinyl uh, this year, and uh, but um, I went ahead and <clears throat> put it together and put it on Bandcamp today, and Free Haze is on there among other tracks. Um, as I say, I, I think of my music as kind of like a haiku as a form. I try to keep things. I don't try to, but things are short because they feel like, um, you know, the idea, what it's doing is is pretty much done, you know, when it's done. Uh, but I also, um, another way to approach the music is, think of it as soundtrack or library music, really whatever you like. But um, I personally get a lot of pleasure out of it. So um, new album, out today <laughs> on Bandcamp I'll leave a link really enjoying all the interactions that I'm having with um, you folks and uh, yeah don't feel compelled to answer everything and uh, glad that people can tell that it's all friendly um, <clears throat> it's the afternoon and um, I've been busy working on this, so a little, little relaxed, you know. But rather than just run, I'll go, I'll go for a few minutes. I played this today because I haven't in a long time. We, um, <clears throat> square root of one, of negative one rather, square root of negative one, um, came out back in the... Uh, drum and bass days but uh what i still like about this the drum and bass parts you know drum and bass is kind of dated it has not all of it but some of it really because of the um the fact that people decided that there was this trademark sound for the the drums you just you know you always kind of get stuck but the sampling, you know, and the way that they would collage on this is really quite good. Enjoyed that. So what else have I played that I haven't put away? Here's something that was sent to me, I believe, yeah, by the record label. Um, Sleepers. Sleepers Records, yeah. A recent album by Eric Random. Wire Me Up. Man, if this isn't really good... And I'll tell you what, I played this and then I posted a picture of it. Um, someone that is in my friend uh, queue that I'm not sure who it is, decided to look it up and listen and then he got back to me and said, wow, thank you, you know, because he really liked it. And this is, this is really dynamite. And this came out in 2018, electronics, beat oriented. When I reviewed it before, I made a reference to Cabaret Voltaire, which, um, if that helps you, this is just really good. It's really solid. It's just really, really good. Eric Random, wire me up. 
Here's my garbage truck. Can you hear it? Monotract. This is something I've had for a while that came out on the public eyesore label. Uh, the label that was um, started by my friend Brian Day. And this is really good mashup. Now this is sound mashup. Uh, there's actual instrumentation involved, but you can just hear how things are just being um, manipulated. This is really good mono track. Excuse me, that damn copy. But uh, yes, I will leave a list of what I'm showing below the video, as well as the link to my new album. For those to, who can't quite understand what I'm saying, sorry about that. Hold this, because this is something I got um, cheaply, because uh, it's water damaged, but it's uh, an Ashra album, Ashra Temple. This is Manuel Gotching, the guitarist, in particular on this at this period here. Bell Antique. And this is pretty commercial. It almost sounds like Mike Oldfield, no offense, but again, it's really... Side 2 has a longer spatial piece, but all of side one, it's like, you have to wonder, is this really Ashra? But I guess, I hope he made some money. I hope it worked for him. You know, I hope I hope it helped him stay in the biz. I mean, he still is in. Um, these things that I say, you know, uh, these comments, they're real. It's like, you know, the, the whole challenge of commerce and making things sell enough that you can keep stay afloat always a challenge something else I played that really I really enjoyed cluster I love the German band cluster and this is a selection of their stuff put together by John McIntyre of um, the band tortoise on white vinyl very nice programming uh, John if I uh, you happen to see this with a little friend of John McIntyre's of the band Tortoise. Well done here. I love the cluster, though, and that sound, that vibe, that ambience. Speaking of ambience, here's one. Peter Newton, originally in the band Clan of Zymox, along with um, guitarist Michael Brook, sleeps with the fishes. This is from what I consider the classic period of 4 AD, that label, which I just love. Very moody, slow album, I love it, wonderful. It's like one that you kind of rest like that, you just lay back into it, and it's just wonderful. Last thing I played that I didn't pull, put away because I played a bunch and put a bunch away, I was playing Miles this morning, Arthur Russell, World of Echo. Um, this man's background is rather interesting. I can't speak on it right now, but I do know that Arthur Russell um, <clears throat> is a figure who died too soon. Uh, this is the second edition of the album, which came out on Rough Trade back in the 80s, I believe, 87. And this is, yeah, this is very unique. A very unique sound, very spatial. Um... Interestingly to me, his son, his voice is very close to the voice of John G. Perry of Caravan. To my ears, I hear the same kind of timbre in his throat when he sings. I believe he played violin as well as other things, so you hear him doing some cool stuff on this. Way cool album. And I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, please check out my new music. 02020. Um, I would like to get this out on vinyl. I need to make that happen. Okay. And then tomorrow, last thing I'll say, but if I make a video tomorrow, I'll say it again. Tomorrow is the uh, international digital release of Egypt's album, Egypt, Phoenix, Phoenix Rising, on Tough Gong International, featuring two of my productions, two of my tracks and productions, really excited about that. Um, she tells me it's going to get be out on CD as well. All right, I'll be leaving you a list and links.